after we came to Saudi, through the years of the Great War, our only means of transport was the old wagonette and horse which Mr. Hill drove for hire. I would not have missed those drives for anything. It took hours to get anywhere. <laughs> and the slow progress up and down through winding country lanes, where the overgrown summer hedges would brush against the carriage, was so delicious. And once fairly started on our journey, Mr. Hill would sit back, half turn towards us, and, and behind him, the reins would lie slack on the horse's back. And always on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> but the roads were often, at least generally, fairly empty. But we really sometimes had terrors when the cars began to come about. Especially, of course, as we were stuck on the wrong side of the road as often as not. We were very nearly smashed more than once, and nothing but the skill of the driver of the car could have saved us. And strong language, of course, issued from the car, but our driver simply looked round at us and grinned. Lucky they things can get out of the way so quick, isn't they? <laughs> He was, of course, acting as sexton at the church when Father Lowe came to Throwley. Mr Hill never quite approved of any change in the service at the church. And I think this feeling perhaps caused him to criticise people, the value of people's church going. One day he explained, I was sat to the back of the church and I looked at them and I thought to myself, there isn't one of them there is what you may call a proper Christian. I know the big book says you mustn't judge, but I wasn't judging, I knowed. <laughs> he took a great dislike to incense, seeing no use to it at all, said that it should be objected to. And in 1911, Father Lowe moved the vestry from the chapel in the north aisle to the ground floor of the tower, accommodating the ringers with a strong platform above. This arrangement, Mr Hill, also did not approve. I know what you've got that for. It's so you'll be able to walk up through the church with all of them swinging licky-smoky lanterns. 